before I was very, very um, ashamed mm -hmm. of the choices that I've made. Yeah. But, you know, I'm like, no, this might be someone that might have to hear, like, what mm -hmm. God can do for me, God can do for you. Yeah. And um, at one point when, and it's funny how the enemy will open doors and you're like, oh my God, this is great. Oh, this is easy. I can do that. Well, that, that seems fun. Mm -hmm. But the more you do that and you entertain that fire, it's going to destroy you. Right. Because when I was stripping and making good money, then another door opened up to where a little bit of me prof prostituting. We put on the whole armor of the king So that we can stand and fight against the enemy The weapons they may form but won't succeed We already declared the victory Let the redeemed of the Lord tell the stories By his grace we are walking testimonies For thine is the kingdom and the glory And we'll praise you love forever cause you're holy Yeah. Hi you guys, welcome back again with another podcast episode I'm Amber the Truth and what I do here is expose the truth the gospel truth that is, and today we have somebody on the podcast, <laughs> very near and dear sister of mine, you know what I'm saying? Hi guys. Name is Ashley. <laughs> um, I have a plan really to interview everybody in the, the the church because number one, I haven't been here that long. I want to get to know everyone, but I also um, just want to get closer to my family, you know what I'm saying? These people are very, like we've known each other for a little bit of time, but they they are very near and dear to my heart like i really appreciate every last one of them their prayers how they are just how they love because i haven't been in an environment of love like this in a yeah. not ever i'm not saying the church <laughs> before ever. didn't i'm not <laughs> saying the church before didn't love me yeah it's just this was different it felt home immediately yeah when i first met you it just seems like i've known you forever even oh, though I'm just that. barely getting to know you. <laughs> I, I guess that's how God makes things work, you know? When he crosses, you know, two people's paths in their lives, right. it's like, oh, okay, this is God. Exactly. He's, he's connecting. Exactly. And I was just like, this is so crazy to me because it was just like, I didn't know what I wanted. I knew I wanted something. And the way God works in mysterious ways is because it's like, I didn't. I was like, I'm, I had to do this project for this religious class I was taking, which was getting on my nerve, by the way, <laughs> all the blasphemy was doing against my Savior. But um, anyway, I passed class with the A, but I had to do a project on multiple religions. And when I got to the Christian one, um, I was trying to find a church that like basically spoke the truth. And it was just this one that's in... Um, where is it? Not bare. It was on like behind 7th Street. It's this really big church. I think it's called Calvary or something like that. I don't know. But it's over there. If you know where the hospital is um, on that one hill. The, mm -hmm. um, what is it? The Mer not Urgent Care. Yeah. On that one hill. That church over there next to that park. I ended up doing it on that one because I didn't know. But then after I did the project, I was just looking and searching. Like I, I don't know what I was looking for. But I was looking for a church that did something. <laughs> and I was like, okay, anyway. Then I just put it in the back of my mind. I just went about, you know going you know getting my getting my spiritual fed through youtube and then going to church and then a friend of mine who i guess he used to go here his father used to go here i guess i don't know um was just like here's a church where um they do the five-fold ministry and i went and i looked you guys up on facebook and i was just like okay cool like they do it all <laughs> and then i think i didn't even get a chance to watch it live yeah i didn't watch it live i was just like Someone was like, okay, I'm going to go. And so I saw Charlita post, The Devils Are Rising. And mm -hmm. I put it on my calendar because I couldn't go to the one that was upcoming, but I wanted to go to the one that was like two weeks away or whatever. So I put that on my calendar. I wanted to go. And that Friday, right, it's on Saturday, right? So that Friday, I worked till like 3 o'clock in the morning. Oh, got wow. off at like 3.30. You know, when you get home that late, you don't really go to sleep until like 4.30 <laughs> yeah. or whatever. So I was like, okay, um, all right. <laughs> uh, so I woke up, still tired. And I was just like, I, I, I want to go. It was free, and it just felt like it was a need to go. So, And I wanted something to, like, release. I don't know what it was. So I went, and the first person that was just opened up was Celeste. So yeah. I love her. <laughs> Celeste. Oh, that girl <laughs> is the Celeste. face of the ministry, that's for sure. We love you, Pastor Celeste. She's amazing. <laughs> no, for real, because she was just like, you know, I, you know um, I think what stirred me was your spiritual dance. Oh, that was the first thing that, like... That. Oh, yeah, I didn't tell you that. Because, like, you know, the music I didn't know. So, you know, I'm just like, okay. And you don't know the song, you just vibe to <laughs> yeah. it. And so I didn't really know the song that well. But I was okay. And then you came and did your dance. And I was just like, I stood up and was like, ooh, whatever that is, that's it. Like, I like that. You know what I'm saying? And then um, 
Josh started playing something and I was just like, you know, just in the spirit and then came uh, Celeste and she grabbed my hand and then we started dancing a little bit and then Joanne came and then we was actually dancing together and I was like, I don't know any of these women, but we're just <laughs> having a good time in the Lord. It was just so fun. Yes. And then um, it was just like something I've never experienced before. Like it was when I left there, it was just refreshing and I felt lighter and um, I knew I wanted more of God. I've always been hungry as soon as I learned. As soon as I, was, I learned about who he was, how this works, and how real all of this is, this ain't a comic book, this ain't a movie, this real, like, real. you know, I was like, okay, well, I want to know more, I just, I'm, I'm, a, I'm eager to learn, that's always been, like, especially when I was in the world, I just wanted to learn, but now, like, I just want to learn in the Lord, and I was like, okay, well, um, let me just, you know, I had just got my, my, my prayer language, you know what I'm saying, a couple months earlier. So I was just like, okay, you know, try to lead a life prayer in this prayer. I'm like, okay. So I'm praying. <laughs> and, I, and, and I had called you, I had called Charlie to like maybe three or four days before that. And um, I had told her, I was like, I'm spiritually hungry. Like, I'm getting fed at my church, but um, something's missing. And it's not hitting like it's supposed to. And... Um, she was like, okay, okay, well, you can come into the church or whatever, and we're just bouncing from house to house and, you know, something like that, because that's what we did, they did in the Bible. And I was like, okay, and then she's like, you come get some free food? I was like, you know what, I should get some food, I'm hungry. But Yes, <laughs> always get some free food here, because yeah. I'm telling you, man, we eat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I was like, okay. Oh, this is really bad right here. I just need it to go. There we go. Okay. <laughs> so, um, and then I show up. We know. And then um, I talked to, she's like, oh yeah, my assistant Ashley is going to call you. And I was like, waiting, I was waiting to pick up my niece at school. And so somebody just told me to call y'all right then and there because Charlita was literally about to leave. Oh no, I remember we were literally like walking out of her office mm -hmm. and then we heard the phone ring. Mm -hmm. And this, this is God because you didn't know that when you called, that was actually the first fruit of us coming back to the building. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. God's and we good. don't, because God's doing work, you know, he's doing a mighty work in this ministry of KAC. Mm -hmm. And we don't get a lot of like calls from people asking about the ministry. You are literally the first one. Wow. We, we get these little <laughs> spam calls and like, you know, yeah, trying to sell really, all those things, you yeah. know, like, hey, would you like some spectrum? No, thank you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but you were literally the first one. And honestly, like she was thinking like, should I answer? I'm like, yeah, answer it. Because we always get those kind of calls. Yeah, you but assume it was, it was, it was like God. a spam or something. Yeah, huh? <laughs> but it was God. She picked up the phone and like we were so blessed that you called and you were hungry yes. and you were asking about more information. Yes. So like that right there was a blessing for us. Yeah, awesome. It just confirmed like, okay, God, we hear you. Right, right. God just be moving. Ugh, I love it when he does that. Yeah. And so like after that, I was like, okay, I'm going to Delta Rise and went there. And then um, I was in prayer. And I just, I don't know, something about Charlita just stuck out to me. And um, I was in prayer, and then I had, like, opened my eyes, and she was, like, right there. And I was like, oh, hi. <laughs> and I was, and she was like, can I pray for you? I was like, I was the girl that called. Like, no. that was me. And she was like, okay, can I pray for you? And when she prayed, God broke me down. Let me tell you. I was like, oh, my God. Oh, whatever did, that is. Did she get in your mail? No. <laughs> That's what I call it. Get in your mail? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. That's a, that's a great analogy. But basically, it was just like breaking off whatever, you know, just it was heavy because it's heaviness in this house. It just is. And that's why I'm constantly at the altar every Sunday because even though I'm in there in my little room, you know, trying to keep that anointed and keep my little space and try not to let things bother me and weigh on me and you know it's just it's coming from every she invited somebody into the house who even has a dark energy the same as her so it's just like it's heavy and then my sister's fighting as well so like that's weighing on me my sister fighting whatever trying to keep her from her destiny and then these two dark energies who have no intent to change and just doing them and He's just, you know, and it's just like a lot. And so I was just like, she was breaking all of that off. Wow. God was, God was breaking all that off, not a woman. <laughs> Her prayer was, you know, in the, you know, just breaking that off. And then I just fell to my knees on well, my face, really, and just, you know, begin to like cry out and uh, pray in tongues. And just, it was just like a release that I needed. I went to work light because mm. I had to go to work at five after that. And um, I left a little bit early. And then I remember, um, like I told you, I remember um, her saying that she needed help with um, the social media. Yes. And I had no idea I was going to be a member here yet. 
I just God did. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I did. So I'll just bop, I automatically just volunteered that yeah. for whatever reason. And I just went up to Carrie like, hey, my name is Avril Green. I I want to help with the social media. And she gave me um, her number. And, you know, and then I, um, I, I should have called you that Sunday. But anyway, we went the first. We were just me and Tony. She was talking about this, how her house was the first house I went to. And then when yeah. I walked in, it was this quiet, um, knit little you know, gathering, and when I was at the Deborah's Rising, God was like, this isn't, this isn't church, like, this isn't how the church normally goes, this is an experience that I'm moving, so don't base this off how church will go, right, and so I was like, okay, so I walked into the house, and I'm just like, okay, and I sat next to Lolly, and you know, she was just like, hey, I was like, period, <laughs> <laughs> she was just like, yes, we love Lolly, oh <laughs> right. my gosh, she's so funny, <laughs> and then she began to like speak in tongues, I was just like, everybody here do it, like, this is, I'm not the only one, like, you no. know, it just, it felt like home, and it was just like, kids met from everything, like, since then, like, God just put it together, like, mm, like, two puzzles meeting and I was just like y'all was a blessing to me I was able to be a blessing to y'all and I was just like I'm grateful and I just want to do whatever I can for this ministry to just to grow and like when I told Charlita a couple weeks ago like she is my example mm. of of the woman it um uh, not gonna exactly be like her y'all listen listen to the words I'm saying <laughs> not exactly be like her but in terms of how I am going to be it is the fire that God will have that is her he keeps confirming me because I'm like I'm so like spiritual everything is either Satan or the devil to me I know not everything is demonic that's not what I'm saying I just I can peep spiritually how things move yeah. and so like she cuts the piece of cake yesterday and like the top you know so they can save for their one, one year anniversary and she's like oh that was the holy spirit that let me cut it like that so that's literally yes. how i talk when i do something <laughs> that i don't intend that just went perfect or everything went well i'm like that was god because that's just you know just how i talk and i'm not um trying to to just be holier than thou i'm just holy yes and I just think it's beautiful because you say like when you're saying that it's not always spiritual but then mm -hmm. you kind of see it that way because you always see God has his hand on you and moving and and changing things and redirecting and you just see the way that he is doing it in your life right. and that's how you're like oh thank you though that was God oh he helped me there oh oh the devil is a liar over there you yeah know what I mean? <laughs> exactly. and, and part of that is because of relationship mm-hmm you you know who your father is why because you spend time with them in the secret place mm -hmm. and that's why i feel like that's why you are like that mm -hmm. and i think it's a beautiful thing because you see god in everything literally everything There's you do nothing and and like when i told you about what happened was you there when i was talking about my um my quote unquote bad day i don't call it bad days anymore because I used to look at approach the days wrong and i'd be like okay lord let me have a good day and then god was like you need to direct how you say that it's like let mm. me have a spirit filled day because every day is good because i didn't you woke up yep exactly so it's how you <laughs> respond to what happens yes. is how it, you know and i was like oh god okay that makes sense so i started responding so the day i um I, was you, I don't think you were there i probably wasn't um we were in the kitchen <laughs> i was telling about the day before i was at work and how i got sent home early because i had my phone in my pocket all of two minutes Oh, I wasn't there, but um, I heard about it. Yeah, so I was, um, that was such a that was spiritual, because I was talking to one of the girls at work who has like a crystal on her neck, and I was just trying to, you know, A, I don't just rah, rah, rah people with the gospel first. I like to talk to them, edge them in, you know, have an actual conversation yeah. with people like, oh, why do you believe this? Like, what does that mean? And I was just, um, um, I was working the drive through and she's working, I'm checking the food, she's working the window. And on the, out the window, you see people from a different church like, Oh, stop and pray now and you get prayer. And then like one of the persons that's working on the drinks, there's three people, drinks, the person in the window and me. Mm -hmm. And they laugh like, ha ha, prayer. I'm like, what's funny? Mm -hmm. Prayer works. And you know, and then I begin to tell her about her friend because she has another close friend in the store. I was like, I prayed for your friend. She was having a horrible anxiety attack to the point of tears. Oh, wow. And um, I just went and prayed for her to comfort, to overcome her. Like just, Lord, just be with your daughter. Because I know she's... She has the belief in him. She may be lukewarm or, or you know, for both in or whatever. But um, still, she's her daughter. I yeah. prayed for her. And by the end of the shift, she was completely restored her emotional state. She was good. She was able to laugh. Wow. And all of that. And um, 
she asked for another prayer before I got off on the clock. So I did that for her. But I told the girl that. I was like, I prayed for your friend. And she was completely fine at the end of the prayer works. And then um, shortly after that, I went to the restroom. I was like, oh, I'm about to go to the restroom. So I go back. I go to the restroom. I come back. And then somebody else is in my spot. So I can't continue the conversation I was having with her. Oh, and good. so like, hmm. Okay, now that's when you say devil. All right, I that's see That's what I'm saying. I see, <laughs> I see Everything you. is spiritual. Mm -hmm. So like I'm sitting there and I'm like, okay. I see you. So, and then, like, the manager's like, I didn't know where you were. You didn't ask. I know off bat in the spirit, he didn't ask. Because hmm. someone could have told you. I was uh, in a restroom for, like, five minutes. Like, come on. <laughs> and he was like, I didn't know where you were, so we're going to put you in the back. Cool. I don't I don't give no reaction. I'm like, okay, cool. Hey, my boss. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I go in the back, and it's cold there. So I go and put my sweater on. So I just got out of the bathroom. Um, so, you know, I take my purse, my whole purse with me, because I have my girly things. And then, so I put on my sweater. <laughs> And I literally uh, take my phone, mm, the little pocket. This is natural. You just do that when yeah, you, it's your I would phone. Do that. You know what I'm saying? Actually, I do that all the time. Right. Exactly. <laughs> Everybody do. who has who yes. wears a sweater would do that. I so do it all the time. I put it on, and then I'm beginning to I'm pumping sauce, making the sauce or whatever. And then um, as I'm putting on my sweater, I in the corner of my eye, I see him walk to the to the office, and I'm yeah. I finish pump. He like come here inside. I'm like okay. He was like, I'm going to send you home because you broke company policy by having your phone in your pocket. I am a full grown woman. <laughs> what are you even talking about right now? Like, Period. I can't have my phone. In. <laughs> People got lives outside this job. What are you even talking about right now? But you know, I, I have so many things running through my mind, like racism. <laughs> like, just like, oh, this is just because I'm black. You know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> and, um, and I just sit there and I listen to him talk. He was like, we only saw you. You only, you only saw me. Oh, I'd be like, da, 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 da. You know, okay, Lord, I really want to say this, exactly. but help me maintain Everything my mouth. Everything is running through my mind, like, oh, so you only saw me. Ooh. I don't make no sense because I saw that I wanted to out people. But I was like, nah, let me keep my composure. Let me be in the yeah. spirit. And so, you know, mm, shut my mouth. I just let him talk and do what he do. And he told me to sign this piece of paper and go home. I'm like, cool, I got a paper to do anyway. Thank you, Lord. I got to finish this paper for finals. I'm in finals. Thank God. <laughs> so, as I walk out of the office, I'm seeing umpteen people with their phone in their pocket. I'm like... I see, okay, Satan, whatever. You ain't about to steal my joy. So I walk out to the car. I go to the car and looking for my keys. Where are my keys? They're in the ignition. The car is locked. I locked oh, my okay, keys. Okay, this part I did not know. Yes. Oh, no. I locked my keys in the car. And I was like, you really trying to have my joy right <laughs> now? Like, <laughs> you'd be, you be adjusted that day. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was like, mm, you really trying to have my joy? You, ooh, you, can't, you can't have it. I'm not going to let you have it. So, uh, I'm like, man, okay, so I sit down, and I got AAA, so I'm not worried it's free for them to come out. Oh, praise God. And then, you know, I give God the glory. I was like, okay. Make sure you get your AAA. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm like, I'm like you know what, boy, I ain't going to be mad because I got AAA, and it's free. So, I call them or whatever, tell them to come out. They um they hit up the nearest toll, whatever, people come, and um for like that 20 minutes that I went them, you know, sometimes you think AAA going to take a minute because they yeah. do take a minute. And I'm just like, okay, Lord, you're not about to, um, I repeat that. Okay, Satan, you're not about to have my, you're not about to have my day. God, I give, I was just sitting there talking, giving God the glory. It's a good day still. You know what I'm saying? God is good. You know, just giving God the glory right then and there. Like, you don't get to steal my, even if I did lock keys in my car and it's my fault, still. You don't, still. you don't get to have my joy. No. You just don't. So, I'm sitting up here like, okay. Lord, you know what I'm saying? They come in like 15, 20 minutes. You open it, and I go home, and I go finish the paper, and it's that. And, you know, I pray that whenever, because I can, like I said, I see spiritually, so I know this man is dealing with a lot. Because when people don't smile or don't laugh, mm. it's usually some visitors with them. They have some company come because on. they can't. They can't even find joy. You know what I'm saying? Everybody in the store, every manager is cool. They can play with you, laugh, joke with you. And he's the only one that's just nitpicking on people. Everybody got like, you know, and for the most part, people are like, I don't like him. I'm like, look, I'm not trying to take it personally because I know what it is. Come on. I know what it is. So I'm like, every, you know, when I remember to pray, because I do have a list of people I pray for in the store, I'm like, Lord, give him some peace. Give him, let him smile and laugh. You know what I'm saying? And when I do see him smile and laugh, I thank God. Mm -hmm. Because I, I'd like to take that like, oh, he heard my prayer. Because yeah. I don't miss misery on nobody. It's horrible. If I'm living with it. So it's like, I see. <laughs> yes, life is hard today. Everyone's going through something. You know what I'm saying? So yes. I see it. So I'm just like, bruh, I don't, I don't wish that on nobody. God gave me peace. And I don't 
I don't, man, I'm not about to interrupt that for nobody. I'm not about to compromise that for nobody. I have to say something. When you said my peace, I'm telling you, the peace is everything. I don't care if I'm living in a mansion and I don't have no peace. I'd rather live in a shack with my children by myself and have my (laughs) peace. And I know the Lord is with me. Even if we're breaking bread and that's all the bread we have. As long as I have peace, oh my gosh, I I am content. Period. And it's like, yes. and I'm not talking about peace, absence of chaos. I'm talking about the peace, the presence of God. Come on. You know what I'm saying? And people just like, they they searching for it. They want yes. it. Yes. And I'm like, look, it's with God. That's the the only way, way is with God. The only way you're going to get it is with the Father. So I'm just like, man, y'all, y'all just, y'all got to get you some Jesus. I'll make sure so I say that. <laughs> but, yes. <laughs> but. I'm sorry, you got me all excited when you were talking about the peace. Because I'm cause telling I'm like, you. Because I, I remember being in anguish, like just being unsettled, having that depression and anxiety to the point my hair couldn't grow. Mm. This is a blessing from God my hair looks like this. Yeah. I used to pull it out from the roots because I was so anxious. Biting my nails, biting my cheeks, oh, biting the cuticles of my fingers. You know what I'm saying? I have it's little nails. You know? It is. And I think that's what a lot of people are going through. I'm sorry, yeah. I'm just getting really excited because you're, 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 you're going somewhere with this because yeah. I'm telling you, like us serving the food every Friday, I, there's lines of people here mm-hmm. at the church that we, um, we help people with food. And if you, you know, are okay and you know somebody that needs food, please tell them because it, it just breaks my heart because I just see people that are just starving. Mm-hmm. And it's not, it's the physical, yes, but it's a lot of the spiritual. Mm-hmm. I mean, they're, they're like here, they're hot. You can see that they just want to break down crying. They don't even know what they're, what to do. Right. They, they just are here and they're just searching for something. They think it's food, but it's more than that. It's right. God. Literally. And, and there was one guy um, last Friday. He was coming and he was so nourished. Is that yeah, yeah. yeah. To the point where like he was drooling. Mm-hmm. Like he was just like. And just like walking, he had like no strength. And mm-hmm. you could tell he was homeless. And I was mm-hmm. like, would you like some water? And he was like, yes, yes. Like even having that water was like a blessing to him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I think like some of us, we take those things for granted because, I mean, the peace yeah. is everything. I'm everything. telling you, everything. I... I, I, I'm just so sad to see people, they're, they're chasing for something for just a moment. It could be um, overeating. It can be, you know, having sex with people and you're having that fulfillment for what, five minutes and then it's gone? Right. And then you keep searching for that again mm-hmm. or you're on drugs or alcohol or you're just binging watching Netflix. It could be simple as that. Yeah. And people don't think like that something simple as binging Netflix is like yeah. a, a search for something. Like you are literally watching show after show to escape. Mm-hmm. I remember because TV raised me like I was in of course I was in the house being raised by my grandmother but but until my sister came to live with me TV was my companion yeah it was it was all I watched uh, I learned most of the things I learned you know about this world from TV. TV and it was on for hours and that was just how I coped and to know today like I don't even watch TV like that is God because why because you have the peace of the Lord and you're hungry and you love being in his presence and yep. being in his word and that's what sustains us that's what fills us up mm-hmm. and it's an overflow yes and that's one thing I love about you is because you're teaching you know showing people yeah. at your work yeah and it's like God is using me tremendously yeah. there, and I just you know, even though, you know, Satan tried to stonewall me with certain things. I'm just like, anyways, because I had to, um, cause God tells me to, reminds me to uh, write down the things either you or Charlita prophesied to me. And I had to go in, um, a couple of weeks ago and look at another one she said. And she was like, I'm a threat to the kingdom because I'm unmovable. Yep. And I was like, and I when I reheard that, I was like, man, that's crazy. Because that's why you be doing what you be doing. Because, you know, I'm be mad for that second, then I'm going to get over it, and then I'm going to continue for the kingdom. And you, you go forward. You, you know? Don't, you're not stagnant. You right. don't go backwards to your old ways. No, you keep pressing you're right, forward. Right, exactly. Yeah. And I'm just, I don't, I, that's God as well. Because, like I said, my faith of a mustard seed, and my faith of a mango seed. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> I mean, I said that one time about the um, mustard seed. She's like, no, no, no. My faith of a mon- mango seed. Or, right? Mango seed. Mango seed. <laughs> <laughs> I but hope like, you I said that part. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I said that because he, I, there's a like going up in the environment that I'm still in. I was tried a lot, and I'm just I'm still tried. But the difference is now, like 
I have God to guide me and how to react to certain things. And even though I have my days, it's just like mostly it's just being with just having the faith that he instilled in me. Because when you know, when I was a child, she would always threaten, if I die, who you got? Because oh. I, didn't, I didn't have my mother or father, you know, estranged from other family members. So it was like this, I'm, you know, this, this narcissist, I'm, I'm all you got, I'm everything to you and you going, you, there anybody else going to need, you know what I'm saying, that type of thing. And I'm like eight. <laughs> you're like oh wow like, and I can see why you have so much anxiety because you are afraid of the future you know what I'm saying like, I don't oh. know like what's gonna happen if she does die like wow. I don't know, like you know and I don't have anybody and you know stuff like I constantly think that like that's why I was so gung-ho like okay I need to get a career I need to go to college I need to da 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 because I need to make sure I can sustain myself because she right I don't have nobody and that wow. was constantly a thing and when you get to the point to where all you have is God hmm literally like like i said that whole year and a half i spent like the um the miracle she said she was six months it was a year and a half for me wow and that was so hard for me i've been working since i was 16. he was like just sit down i was like what do you mean like i need to that's the hardest part <laughs> it's when god's calling you for a season just be still bro just... i was like this is so hard like what do you mean make no money i'm like i gotta do this i gotta do, this. I gotta do this. <laughs> how i'm gonna get stuff me okay but i want money for what Mm -hmm. I supply all your needs. I Come said, on. okay, but I tried to think of something like, <laughs> yeah, right. Like, well, what about that one? No, me still. And yeah, that, that whole year, he was like, I'm Jehovah Jireh. That whole year and a half, like he gave me little bouts of money here and there. I was working at the church, cleaning it, and you know, that's a that's a, a form of stewardship for him and working in that yeah. way. Mm -hmm. And he would, you know, give me a little two hundred dollars every now and then to to get my little personals or whatever I needed. But he completely supplied for that year and a half. And during that year and a half, I was like, okay, sat down. And then towards the end of it, I was just like, okay, it's been long enough now. When is, I was literally Can you frustrated. release me to go? No. I was like, no, yeah, I was like, I was so frustrated. It was like, what, October, October of last year. I was just like, okay, go. I went into like one of these little rooms and I was just like, Okay, God, throwing the ball around. Like, okay, so I didn't, look, I didn't let go of the man. I didn't let go of the, 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 my perverse way. I didn't let go of everything. I didn't drop, I didn't given everything up for you. Everything. Why won't you tell me to move? Like, what are you doing? Like, you know, and I love God because he allows us to just be frustrated with him. He allows oh, us that. You, you know what I'm saying? And is, he's not like... <laughs> Some stoic God, like you. How dare you, little peasant? Like, no, no, you know right? What I'm saying? Like, I am the God. I will crush you. You know what I'm saying? He's not. He's not that at how all. How dare you speak to me? You know, I supply all your needs. Like, how? You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> so, like, I'm glad that like, He allows us to be, yes. you know, frustrated and angry because it's like I'm not even saying angry. Just I was just frustrated. Like, okay, Lord, I did everything. Like, what's next? And literally, a few weeks after that, He like, okay, you going back to school, mm -hmm. and then you can start looking for a job. And they just happened simultaneously, both of them. I was like, okay, what am I going back to school for? Like, uh, that's secular. I was looking at the, I was looking at the Baptist church. Mm -hmm. uh, what is it? Ba Cal Baptist Chapel? Ba something. Something it's a, like it's a that. It's Baptist like an hour and a half or two hours away from here. And it's university. And I had applied. And I was like, okay, Lord, if I get in, I know you want me to go back to school. Because it was so random. The Holy Spirit works in mysterious ways, too. Yes, because does. I was just sitting in bed. I started looking up schools. Now, why did I do that? <laughs> That was random. I don't have no, I have no explanation why I was just looking up schools. Isn't it funny how you just have a random thought and you're like, oh, I could do that. And you're like, oh my gosh. And then back, you just connect the dots. Like, oh my gosh, Lord, you were in this and this and this. This, literally. So I was <laughs> like, just looking up schools. Like, okay, all right. And I did that. And, you know, I literally woke up the next day after I said that prayer and I got accepted into the school. Wow. And I was like, oh, so you, okay, you meant what you said. All right. So, <laughs> um, I, through trial and error, I tried to go back to my alma mater. I went to Cal State LA and I had ended up dropping out due to like just life being life. And, um, I applied to get back in there and I got rejected and I was just like a little hurt. Cause I was like, Lord, I know you want me to go back to school. So what am I supposed to do? And I, and I think my sister said something about VVC, and I was like, oh, it hit, like, <laughs> community college. Like, why didn't I think to go back there? So I did that, you know what I'm saying, and did all of that. And then um, I do not, I, I do not, God gave me Raising Canes. Because when I go back and look where I applied to an Indeed, it's not there. And that's all I used to apply. Oh, wow. I got a text message. Can you come in for an interview, da, da, da. 
I'm like, okay, cool. I'm thinking of somebody I applied to. Yeah. I can't find an application to this day. I don't know how that happened. Whoa. So like, <laughs> I go in and you know, and um, I went to, I had two interviews. So I went in for that one and one for Wingstop. And I'm just letting you know that if somebody offers you the job on the spot, <laughs> be wary. Especially <laughs> in food. Now anywhere else, I don't know, but in food, like I was just like, mm, Wingstop. <laughs> I just had the interview two hours ago. You talking about some hiring me? Mm. Mm, I was like, mm, but I want to work at Kane's. For whatever reason, I just wanted to work at Kane's. Well, Kane's is good. <laughs> Girl, no. <laughs> She's this like, I don't know. Not it. But anyway, I was just like, nah. So I ended up um, waiting. And I was like, I ended up hitting up the hiring manager. Like, I followed her. I was like, wait till she came to work. And I was like, okay, so look, I got two offers. I just want to know if y'all going to hire me or do I take the second offer? And she was like, yeah, I'm going to hire you. Boom. I was like, cool. Had a week to get ready, and it's been going da 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 ever since. So it went. To, it started from me getting to school. Cool. I started in February, and me started in work in November, and then boom, a couple months later, God giving me a new home as a church. God just been doing stuff. Wow, he's doing a quick work. <laughs> it ain't even been a year <laughs> since all of this. So it's like, God just be moving. He just be doing stuff, and I'm just thankful to be here. Like I'm just thankful that whatever He does and. I'm just completely surrendered and submitted. Like, what you want me to do next? What's next? And, you know, he told me to bring back this podcast. Mm. I, I, will, like, I have to say this. You have, she's been a tremendous blessing to the ministry. You really have. Really? For KAC Endeavors Arising, I'm telling you, we've been praying for someone to come in that knows how to do all this stuff. <laughs> wow. Well, see what I'm saying? God see how God stuff. opens doors. Like, mm. he hears and he brings the right person that has the willing heart, mm. the pure heart, and there's no hidden like agenda, no yeah. motives. And, like, you're here because you love God. Literally. You do what you do because you love to serve God and God's people and his kingdom. Mm -hmm. And definitely. I'm telling you, this woman is amazing <laughs> in what she does. Man. I'm being serious. <laughs> I'm telling you, this girl's amazing. And so when you told me to bring it back, I did. And I was like, Lord, you got to you gotta show me. You want, to do, want me to bring this back? Because you know, at first I did it just to do it. It was just like something I felt like I yeah. needed to do. Like, oh, I'll just do a podcast too. But this time. God told me to bring it back, so I know it's something He wanted, and I'm Amen. like, okay, you know. And it's been numbers have just been up ever since, and uh, you know, it's steadily growing, you know. And I just thank God for that. So like, this is my first technical. Like, it wasn't. I wasn't even trying to say interview. It's just like I wanted to get to know Ashley better, <laughs> and because like you, you intrigue me the way you pray. I was just like, wow, like. And I remember being such a baby Christian and watching people pray and be like, oh, those are words I can take with me. Like, <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, at your feet, okay. Like, you know, oh, so. Oh, no, no, that was good. You okay, know, let me break that down. You know, <laughs> really. And then, like, you just, how on, like, fire you are. It's just, I like, I just, I dig it. Like, it's just, like, watching somebody else as being in the, in, the, in the house where you're not the only one on fire in that particular way. Yeah. And I, I you're truly a blessing you have like you probably think like what did i do you've done a lot just watching your relationship watching how you love watch how you submit oh, wow. i'll just be up there i'll just be looking at you like man she's up there singing and she's having her her just let the door swing wide okay hey, don't say it. i'm like hey. <laughs> so i'm just like yes yeah, like it's so amazing to watch and i'm just like yes yeah, like this is my sister from another mister yes like, <laughs> so i wonder like how did you get started like what drawed you to God I know you said you came from Utah yeah like where how did you get saved well I'll go back I was originally born and raised in Phoenix Arizona okay. um, I'm gonna say this like try to say it really, really quick um, when I was 24 mm -hmm. I felt God was telling me to move to Visalia California mm. moved there for about a year um, I was in a relationship with a guy that was not good. He was selling drugs and he was a gang member. Mm. I just thought he was fine. I'm sorry, I'm just being real no, wrong. He I was you. fine. I was minding my own business. He's the one that stopped me and it just went from there. Right, I feel it. <laughs> and um, yeah, after that, he pretty much, he was abusive and then he actually abandoned me and my two children that I had previous from mm. another relationship. And he just um, pretty much left us. Mm. and. Um, he went with another woman. So me and my children, we were actually in a shelter. We literally had three days left until mm -hmm. they were going to kick us out and we we're going to be on the streets. So 
Um, long story short, that's where I, I, I always had a relationship with God, but it wasn't the way that God pulled me out of my situation where I did not have nobody. Mm -hmm. It was just me and my two. And at that time I didn't know I was pregnant with my third mm -hmm. when I was in the shelter. So I literally cried out to God and I was like, God, I'm so sorry. Forgive me. I need help. I literally like no joke. Mm -hmm. I literally felt God's hand just reached down from heaven and grabbed me. From there on, he has completely Oof, changed so my life from the inside out. Mm -hmm. And um, he saved my life because my, my the guy that left me, mm -hmm. he was actually trying to find me. And he actually did. Mm. And let me tell you guys, when God says when an um, enemy comes in like an um, angel of light, mm -hmm. you need to really pay attention because he looked like an angel of light. Mm -hmm. Trying to save you. Yes. Like, oh, the hero's coming, even yeah. though you're the one that did all this to me. Right. And I almost <laughs> slipped into that, yeah. you know, deception. I really did until God really showed me. Like, no, 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 he's not coming to help you. He's coming to destroy you and your children. Mm -hmm. So I literally had to run from this man. And I literally ran into a man's garage and cops came and they were helping me get my children out of um, the school. Mm -hmm. And long story short, the cops helped me and got my stuff and they literally put me in a 24 hour safe house mm -hmm. because that's how big my ex was in the gang oh, and, and selling that like, he knew everybody. Mm -hmm. So he had all his gang friends and everybody trying to look for me. Long story short, God saved my life. Thank you, Lord. And I never looked Amen. back. And I, um, I had my aunt take me to um, Utah mm -hmm. and that's where my parents were. So I actually stayed there and I was there from 2013 and then um, went to church ever since, served, did whatever was needed. That Like that's just who I am. Mm -hmm. I I may not have the best gifts when it comes to and, and, um, doing like the church work, you know, all that yeah. stuff. I just <laughs> want to be in the house of God. Right. And, like it's kind of like how you're hungry, you know. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to be a part. I just wanted to learn about the Word of God. When I started from 2013, I didn't even know what the verses were in the Bible. Let me tell you. I didn't even know what, <laughs> what chapters. I didn't know what the heck I was doing. So right. I would go to Bible um, Bible study mm -hmm. um, Wednesdays and Sundays, and then I would go to church on Sundays, and I would serve and clean the churches all the time. Like I was always in the house of God. Right. So I was just always constantly hungry, and I would be in the prayer and. I, I think part of me, the way that I pray is because I just open my heart and I just allow God just to pour out mm -hmm. of what's in my heart. Um, yeah, I ever since then, I never looked back. And it's been, what, 10 years now? And you've been saved 10 years? What? Uh, but there's a lot more to my story. Yeah. I'm just giving you like a very, very short version. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Very short version. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's been like nine years for me, but only been on this walk for like three. Yeah. So uh, I got saved at a very young age, but um, that sounds like you've always had a connection to, to, to like God was always a part of your life in your life, and I was kind of I was raised in a church as well, but I just didn't. No one cultivated me into like. Well, what happened was, I yes. My family would tell me about God and stuff. Mm -hmm. I knew God, but I didn't like I knew of him I yes. just didn't have a relationship with him. Exactly. Yeah. I had no idea I just knew oh just pray when things are hard. God can right. you help me exactly and I would do that Keep God first. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> but I, I did I, I did not have a relationship and there's a complete difference There's a lot of people that say oh, yeah, I love God. Oh, yeah, I know God. No, but do you have a relationship? Does he know you right? Does he know you by name? Mm-hmm you know, and I just think it's just a blessing that for me to go through what I had to go through and that brokenness and that mm -hmm. abandonment, that's where he was like, all right, now you're ready to yield and get to know me. Mm -hmm. let, let me save you and let me take you on a journey. Let me tell you how he's a savior. <laughs> Sa savior. I did, you know what I'm saying? It was crazy. Yeah. You, crawled, you cried out to him. I did not. I didn't, even, I, didn't even, I didn't even know how to. I was just like, Living with this boyfriend, and I'm wow. just like, I don't love this man. Mm -hmm. I'm not in love with this man. We've been together four years. Like, I love him, care, but not in love. Um, I still had a soul tie attached to another. So, I'm like, okay. And then, like, every, I'm not, I'm not even exaggerating. Every job I had up until God gave me, until I came home 
2020 was a cycle of the interviews going great. I'm a people person. They hire me. They see the potential. They like we're gonna have this, 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 and then. I'm on the schedule, two, three weeks, whatever, how long, and then next thing you know, I got one day on the schedule. What? That's all put in work. Every, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, um, I'm, I'm, I'll quit, I guess. <laughs> like, literally, like, what am I here for? Yeah. So, like, I'm one or two days on the schedule, and this was with every single Whoa. job, and I just felt like I was just stuck in this rut and then I and this is why I still have beef with Chick-fil-A to this day <laughs> Chick -fil -A. because they hired me and let me work two days and then fired me but they also make sure that I didn't have a job after that I had a job when I went that's on that interview crazy. and I was just like oh see that's very Christian of y'all but anyway <laughs> like you know so like now I know God has been calling me home for years that's good because then I was just like why is this not working out like I have the work ethic I'm not gonna have to do a job I'm here, I might as well do the job. Right. And they see the potential. They say, I always ask, did I live up to my interview? They're like, yeah, we like we like you, and da, da, da. And then it was just like, would never work out. Job after job after job. Like every month I was looking for a new job. Every few months I was looking wow. for a new job. And it just was like, I got to the point where I was just like, I don't know what to do anymore. I was just like, I had two jobs and it was cool for like maybe six months. My best friend had just lost her um, her boyfriend at the time. And I was like, just come live with me, you know, I just got broken up with. <laughs> so I was emotionally cheating on him. That's not funny. But I was like, I was, I just, like, he broke up with me on the interview. Like, <laughs> I was oh. in the middle of an interview. I have my Apple Watch on and I hear, this is over, da 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 And I'm like, okay, cool. <laughs> Continue with the interview. No, okay. <laughs> you know, like, I'm literally like, okay. So, yes, um, I can be here, like, well, that's you know. the wrong timing. <laughs> Yeah, I have my composure, but then my best friend comes out and live with me, whatever. We kick it for a few months, and then um, she's like, I just want to go to Vegas. I want to get out of here. And I'm like, okay, cool. We're going to go together. And we go to Vegas, and um, we, no. She leaves like a week before um, I'm leaving because 2020 hit, and we're all in the house. And she was central, <clears throat> that's your central worker. And then one of my jobs I had that had me working Monday through Friday, 9 to 5, was just like, hired somebody else and was just like now I'm down to like two three days again and I was like man wow. bro. so I was like okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go home sack my money for a little bit and I'll meet you out in Vegas don't you love our own plants yeah <laughs> they make they make our father laugh so much I, yes he knee slaps he like, oh yeah that was a good one <laughs> you're right like, imagine, like telling him like remember what I said so that was my plan little did I know God was like no it's not you're gonna come here you're gonna turn your life to me you're gonna live for me Ooh. oh Okay. And it's like it literally 2020 just sh sh shifted everything for me like it did for everybody else. It was just like, okay. And all I needed was, turns out, all I needed was somebody to show me how to do this. Because when yes. I got saved in 2014, I was like, I did just in awe. Because I was like, man, this is crazy. Like, I feel free. I had heavy depression, suicidal. And all of that went away when I when I got saved that day. Wow. And um, I remember driving home and looking at the sky like, it's so blue. Like, it's just so nice outside. <laughs> it just, and then like, I stayed on fire for like maybe a week. I got rid of the music. I threw away weed. And then I wasn't cultivated. I wasn't discipled. So I didn't know anything beyond what just happened. Right. And, you know, they have given me a Bible. And I tried to go to church a few times out there. But I couldn't find one that like felt like it fit. So I easily fell back into the world. So when I came home... Um, God used my sister to disciple me because she was learning um, going through her things and she was learning at the same time like how to you know she was being discipled and so wow. she just instilled that in me like certain things and we were going through these um, Jim Berg books I don't know if you know who that is but Jim Berg has these just, um, these books that are just amazing that help literally teach you everything and guide you into spiritual truth and you know I just had my little you know question I was like why you don't want a woman to speak like I feel like that's sexist and like you know just <laughs> as you learn in God or whatever yeah <laughs> dang okay I hope y'all don't hear that but um <laughs> um so like it was just like this amazing experience like God was just shifting like helped me through my sister that's why I go so hard for her because the enemy wanted us to hate each other so bad because our our whole family is torn apart mm. and we were kids my grandma used to try to play us against each other if one do something and then y'all both in trouble like what sense does that make like <laughs> oh okay <laughs> like you know what i'm saying what is to tell on each Whoa. other and all type of stuff and like until this day she still wants us to just be at odds and we just like we refuse to 
because Thank everybody God. in our family is just so estranged and we like nah well, that's not gonna be us you know and even though she's off you know falling off it's just like I'm still what, what is it uh, what is it rooting for her like in a sense because I'm like you help me I'm not about to leave you out there by yourself and I think she just texted me honestly oh. about how to get back how to repent like what to do she ain't that just, funny how God reversed that mm-hmm it's hilarious. Wow. Because <laughs> I was like, she taught me and now I get to teach her. And it's amazing. And God is so good. I was just like, man. That's how God works. Yeah. You know, I think it's just a beautiful thing. I think, I mean, I know you're just sharing just a little tip of your story. Yeah. But like for me, I was a, a bad girl. No, yeah. I mean, I, I feel you. I used to be a stripper. <laughs> um, I I would I would drink. I I mm -hmm. did a lot of like Percocets and not mm -hmm. taking the regular pill and swallowing it. I'm talking about like breaking it up and sniffing it. Mm -hmm. I did cocaine. I did meth. Um, I did all that stuff, and I was on the streets just running the most. Mm -hmm. And I but mean, God, look at her. I would go to house parties. Oh my gosh, man! People would just give me money. I'm not boasting. I'm just telling my story. Like yeah. people would literally like can't wait for me to get to the house and stuff because they wanted to see me dance. And that's how that door opened and me becoming a stripper because dude, they would like put twenty dollars in my pants and all look this at, stuff. Look, I'm not even. And I'm just like, dang, is this, this how is my I can first make time money? telling you this? But I was just like. <laughs> Ashley got the body. I'm not even going to cap to you. Like, it's, I see why. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have... God is good to you. Yeah. And before, I was very, very um, ashamed mm -hmm. of the choices that I've made. Yeah. But, you know, I'm like, no, this might be someone that might have to hear. Like, what yeah. I can do for me, God can do for you. Yeah. And um, at one point when, and it's funny how the enemy will open doors and you're like, oh, my God, this is great. Oh, this is easy. I can do that. Well, that it seems fun. Mm -hmm. But the more you do that and you entertain that fire, it's going to destroy you. Right. Because when I was stripping and making good money, then another door opened up to where a little bit of me prof prostituting. Mm -hmm. I did a little bit of that. It wasn't like me being on the corner. No, yeah. I, I was kind of stripper. Yes, stripper, I um, was kind of dealing with some men that had money, yeah. and then I started kind of prostituting myself and getting mm -hmm. paid, and I I broke. And I and mean, I know that tears the people, women who are strippers, who it's on. It's like a literal doorway. You get in. Yep. And these money, these big money men come in and then they like, you want to make a little money on the side? Like you want to make a little yeah. extra? And it's literally a door open for you. And I know that tears women up emotionally on the inside. There's there's no part of you, I believe, you just super excited and happy to be a stripper. I don't I don't care who you are, whether you know God or not. I know for a fact that's not how you feel. That's not, you. at six, she was like, yeah, I'm going to grow up. And I'm like, no. <laughs> no. You just, life hits you and you know, yeah. you go where, you know, you feel like you're being led, but... I completely get it. I'm being understand. a single mom since of you know having my daughter. I was mm -hmm. 18, mm -hmm. so I've been raising my kids on my own. Yeah. So I mean, sometimes I had to do what I had to do. Yeah. But then you know, God, like I said, in that shelter, He snatched me out, man. He's like, mm -hmm. no, no, devil, not this one. Right. And I feel like He did the same thing for you. Like, no, you are not going to Vegas. <laughs> you are not going. God, God called me when I was a child. My first encounter with God, I was nine years old. Whoa. And I was at this Pentecostal church, and I just remember, like, bawling. And I think, I want to say they, gave, they probably gave me the gospel, and I accepted it, but I didn't understand it at the time. And so, like, I'm just, like, overwhelmed with the presence of God. And, like, this is Satan really trying to, this is what he do, y'all. I'm telling y'all, he just trying to knock you off your horse. So, like, I get in the car, and, like, Satan is speaking literally through my grandmother. What are you crying for? You're still a horrible little girl. You're still a bad child. The devil is a liar. You know what I'm saying? And like, I've I, I never been in any type of trouble. I wasn't really a liar like that. Like, she liked to believe that I am. And I was just like, I didn't understand. That's why to this day, when I receive compliments, I have a, a humility about it because I'm not that I still believe the lies that were told to me. It's just, I have, I've been hearing that longer than I've heard this. So, like, when you guys are like, oh, I just love your heart. I'm like, what do you mean? Like, <laughs> we tell about my heart. What? Like, what do you mean? Oh, you're such a sweetheart. Am I? Like, because I'm not hearing that at home. <laughs> it's like, I'm, it, it still shocks me, like, yeah. to this day. Because it was just like, I grew up thinking I was this horrible person. Genuinely. Like, I was just super selfish. Didn't wow. care about nobody. I know we all have our form of, of, of pride and selfishness. But the selfishness she, put, like, put on me was be like, was almost like I was an adult. Like, because, like, no cap. This... She would drive to a place, 
buy me food and then because I didn't offer it to her I'm selfish bro you got the yeah. money like you could have yeah. bought yourself some food I was like this it, just Whoa. little things mind tricks mind games like yes. that my entire life that can destroy you if you're not strong enough to know how to handle it. that's why you a, need God I'm telling I was, you I'm saying I was a child like wow. uh, okay well, I'm sorry like I didn't know like you want some chicken nuggets like <laughs> I have one left. Like, <laughs> that was high Exactly, grip. bro. Oh my I'm sort of like, this is so, like, and, like, just the, and that's why every time I see Sir Leader, she prays, she's like, I break word curses off of you. Because literally yes. being talked to like that, like, literally still to this day. And now they're like, water off a duck's back, but sometimes they still get to me because, like, they're trying to come up with new ways of saying yeah. it. Like, you know, like, I remember she got so frustrated. She was like, all you talk about is God. Yeah. If you had them like I did, you wouldn't shut up either. Do you know <laughs> who I served? That was good. <laughs> like, what do you yes. mean right now? So it's just like, it's like, um, I never want to leave this place. Like, I just don't want to go home. That's funny that you said that because that's all I talk about too is God. Everything God, this God, that I love you, Holy Spirit. Oh, yeah. thank you. <laughs> what you mean? Like, that's why I it's, like talking. That's why our fellowship yeah. in this church lasts so long because we're all spirit filled and we all truly enjoy the presence of God. Yeah, we're hungry. You know what I'm saying? We're and, all hungry for more. Yes. And like, we're all spiritually discerned. So it's like, I don't even have to say something, anything. And it's just like, they will come up and just speak into me and that's what I love about here because sometimes it just be going through you know and like I said I'm never trying to bash my old church like their God is definitely there it's just they're on the they're on the milk type yeah. of, of word you know what I'm saying very baby Your season was up at that church literally because yeah. I was like okay when you gonna start talking about spiritual warfare pastor okay bless you I know, right? Like, okay. um, can we, like, talk about that? How do you cast out a demon? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I bet... I'm ready for that level. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, so, I was just like, oh, can you just pray for me? And they were like, yeah. But I'm like, prayer is awesome. It's great. It's a great tool. And it works. But it's like, the declaring and decree part is the part that's like... Oh, my gosh. Just like our spiritual mom today was um, teaching on. Yes. With the binding and the loosing. Yes. And, Oof. like, I didn't... I had no understanding of, like... Oh, so I could just like I had I didn't know my authority, and I and the first time I ever tried to cast out a demon, I just I didn't know who, what the, the power I had. I was just mm -hmm. going off what I saw, and so being here it really cultivated my authority and who I am and how I work and how I move and I uh, stand still and you know y'all can't get to me like y'all can your weapons is going to form. I know it. I see them forming. But are they going to prosper? No. No. They can't. I'm a child of God. Come you know on. what I'm saying? When you come up, like she said, when you come up against us, you coming up against him. And what crazy part is he, I don't avenge myself. Nope. I don't <laughs> fight for me. You got to <laughs> fight him. You really want to fight him? I don't think you When the last time somebody fought God on one? Just name one time. I just, I just want that one. Ex <laughs> you can't. <Yeah>. So <laughs> it's, it was crazy. It's just like, it's just been a blessing. Like just everything, just the knowledge I know. And she's about to start the, the boot camp. And I'm like trying to get oh, into everything. Yes. Like, oh, like, that's good. That right there is going to be the meat. We're going to be chewing on some things for a while. Because mm -hmm. it's going to be so good. Oh my gosh. When I can't, is it July, I can't wait either. Or I June? think it's going to be like the end of July. Okay, cool. Because I got some up to get some money ready. Yes. I was like that. And I want to go to the to the, to the the cap or whatever the school thing is. or The healing rooms? No, the I'm coming to that this Saturday. But I meant, um, what is it? The cam. Oh yeah, the camp discipleship. So what mm -hmm. that is is um we it's a it's a school and you get these books mm -hmm. and what they do is they teach you how to be a disciple. Mm -hmm. So it, that class is actually training you up to disciple, to go out on the streets and to spread the gospel. Mm -hmm. And it's pretty much what you know we're learning about the healing and deliverance, mm -hmm. but we're mainly being learned how to just speak the word of God to people on their level of receiving. Right. Because a lot of people, they'd be like, oh, I can speak to people. But no, the way right. that you speak Christianese may not be the way exactly. that they can receive it. Because we can be overly spiritual. You're going to hell. Like, that's yeah. not how, I mean, they are, but that's or, not how you. Or like, you know what? I just heard God say, you, you can hear God. Like, people don't even know this stuff. Right. So it's got to be really, really simple. And mm -hmm. I, it's so funny because I was like, oh, I could do that mm -hmm. i talk to people all the time i'm relatable oh my gosh do you know how many times that they've corrected me that was a little too spiritual 
I was like, whoa, that's crazy because we get accustomed to like, you know, the way that we talk and the word Speak of God. The Lord yeah, <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. That all stuff is good. But when God sends you out, of, mm -hmm. you know, the church and he takes you onto the streets where the prostitutes are or where the drunkards are in mm -hmm. the um, alleyway, are you going to talk like that to them? Are they going to receive that? No. All right. So we, that's what that school is. Mm. It's teaching you how to be at the level where they can receive and mm. they can actually be healed and discipled. Okay. That makes a lot of sense because I'm just like, bruh, oh, I, want, I, I want it all. You're like, whatever she's yeah. offering, I want to learn it. Because I like when she, when I got on that first, uh, what is it, Bible study before we came back to the church and she was like, we equip. I'm like, I'm ready to be equipped. Let's yes. go. Like, because, you know, I'm ready to. Walk into my full prayer, I've already laid everything down. My I life think, is laid. Honestly, I think you doing that school camp will be perfect because that's what you're doing right now. Right. It just gives you extra little tools you yeah, know, on your belt to use. This has all been cultivated by God. Yep. So like, I want like him to add his polishing to it, you know, yeah. and how he does it. So I'm excited to take on all of those. It might be a little difficult because I'll be in school at the time, but whatever, you know, God's... God will make a way. Literally. Yep. So I'm not worried about time or whatever. I just, you know, got to get better at managing all of it, which I'm Girl, really working me, on. You, me and you both. I need to find balance in my life. I, said, <laughs> look, I got four of those books. I can buy me another one. Get you oh, one of those, uh, those I little, love my sister. The little planners. Because I literally started using it again the last couple of days. Because I was just like, okay, Amber, you got to... What are you doing? I'm on TikTok. Get off. Like, I had to literally tell myself that's what I did. went on a fast the other day. Like, just get off your phone. Like, most of my time, just be sitting there scrolling, trying to escape from the hell that I'm in Come in this house. Come on. Even that, the phones can be an idol. A, a whole idol. Let me tell you, it can be. Mm. And I was just like, Lord, no. Like, I want my escapism to be you. Amen. And when I did that, I felt so much better after just reading my Bible, talking to God. Because I got a study Bible to ask questions. And it be in some deep questions. Like, why do you think people walk away from God? And then I was just like, you know what, God? I think you walk away. I just be having yeah, a whole conversation, see, that's whole good, conversation like, with God. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, and it just be, like, just in me and my room, just kicking it, like, just with God. And it's just, like, the coolest thing. And I know he's about to do something really big he keeps reminding me like oh he is and i and I, I love when he speaks to you guys because you know we can be so hard on ourselves because i'd be forgetting like man i did that and then like every single time i go for prayer he'd be like you're so pleased with you but i did that and it's like do you know what other people are doing yeah <laughs> you have laid down your life for me you let me fully in and i'm like oh yeah Yes. It's not it's not as easy for people to do it for whatever reason like i said when you just have god it's real easy for you to let go what else i'm gonna do all right. I, I don't have anything else. Hey, come on. All I all I have now is you, Jesus. So Literally. please. So it's like, yeah. man, it, it became nothing for me to to just lay it down, and I quickly learned. Like I I learned my lessons really quickly. God ain't got to do. He ain't got to correct me too much. You like that one time. How you? All right, I'm good. Lord. I heard you. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it it don't take much for me to like. All right, so let me get it together. And soon as like, and I'm like, a, I absorb everything I learned. That's why I told last Sunday like. Oh, I didn't, like, I'm paying my tithes, but it never occurred to me to do it first. Yes. Like, put, put that first. You right? know what when you saying? get to do it, yeah. Just, I'm okay, let me get my bill. Okay, God, you get yours. Like, it just never occurred yeah. to me to do it first. And I've, I maybe only did it once. <laughs> and it's just like, what's crazy is that um, I had went to go get some uh, coolant for my car. Because I've been using my AC. Okay, girl, it's hot. It's hot. And um, I, I had like, I split my money into like different little prepaid debits. So I don't, um, because the real bank take forever to take your money. So you think you got $200 and you don't. So oh, I yeah. so I take it out and put it into like these little debit things. So that way I know how much money I truly have. So I went to go buy and it was like, I had put $25 on this one card or 27. And then I went to go buy the little cooler and it was like 15 and then I bought something else. So it was like, come out to like $25. So I buy it, and like something went wrong, so I have to take the card out, and put it back in again. I buy it, and it, the the it doesn't change. Like it says on their end, it's approved, but my money's not taken out. Oh. So I'm thinking this is gonna take a little bit later <laughs> to like you know, you know, square away. Yes. And so like yesterday, I go on the app and I look, the money is still there, like twenty seven dollars. I was like, oh snap! Like God. You just let me keep the, I don't, was that still it? I don't know. You said approved on their end, so that ain't really still it on my behalf. Nope, and that's I was not like, your fault. Right, so <laughs> I was like, God just really let me keep that little change, you know what I'm saying? How he just be moving financially in certain aspects, because I honestly want to be better, because it's not the habit in my family. 
Right. And then, you know, through that season of me not working, God was still teaching me about finances. Like, what do you really spend your money on? Mm-hmm. And like Charlie says all the time, that little twenty dollars y'all be, you know, what I'm saying, <laughs> you know, what I'm saying, you be spending on anything. Yeah. And, I, and since I, since I, um, we coming up with ten, I got three more months until my year anniversary of just being uh, sober from weed. So it's like that expense that I spent. Like I remember there was a time where I was calling my weed man once a week for a hundred dollars. I gave that man four hundred dollars in a month mm-hmm. for like ten grand. Like it wasn't even a lot of weed. Like. <laughs> But you were real quick, huh? Giving it. You're like, here you go. That was that was your tithe. Here you go. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Every other week, thing. I'm hitting them up. So I was yep. just like, and now I don't have that expense. I haven't had it for a minute. It's like, okay, so now what was I giving my money towards? And then when she broke it down about the 10% here and 10% there, and I was like, oh, I was just eating it. Like, okay. So I find it hard to save. But for whatever reason, when she said that 10% to save, because like, I don't make a lot of money, but at the same time, I can put back $30. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I could put back twenty dollars, and to me, I'm thinking I gotta save hundreds. That's how I'm like in oh, my head. No. Even if you do like five, that's so five never, will stack just, up. Quick. It didn't quit. It didn't like. It didn't like. Oh, you could just put five ten dollars, girl. Like, yeah, not. It just never occurred to me that. Mm-hmm. So like, that's what I love about God, cause he when he told her to go over it again, I feel like that was for me. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, so God told me to go over this again, even though I already taught it. I'm like, okay. Well, because a lot of people don't understand about tithing and about the benefits that right. God wants to do in your life. He wants to bless you. Right. I mean, it's God's anyways. Everything that we have is God's. Nothing is mine. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So when you Learned pass and you are dead, no offense, are you taking yourself with you? No. You ain't taking nothing. It's all left here. So yeah. what you, so what are you, <laughs> Yeah. you know? So, I'd rather give it all to the Lord and mm-hmm. I, I get all the rewards in heaven than trying to get all the rewards on earth and I don't take it with me. <laughs> right. You <laughs> I'm know just what I'm like, saying? It ain't so worth it. Like, and money ain't never been my motivator in the first place. Yeah. It was just like, okay, I need it to get things, but as far oh, as yeah. like yeah. it being how it is for people, like, I gotta get this bag. It's, it was never that for me. Yeah. Like, so. Good. I'm just like, okay, so what can I do to be better with the little bit that you give me? You said if I'm faithful with the little, hmm. you know what I'm saying? And I know that if my financial breakthrough is coming soon, so let me work on. So I got this app that like keeps track of everything that I'm paying for my little bills or certain subscriptions or whatever that I have. And, you know, it's like, okay, I got that. And then now Charlita having, you know, the 10%, that's just, okay, that made it full circle for me. Like, this is what I do. And she was like, and that little 10% for yourself. I was like, oh, because I'm trying to figure out, like, what do I do for me? It's <laughs> you know? important to treat yourself. You work hard, you know? <laughs> See, and that's the thing. I'm yeah. like, I'll be like, well, I shouldn't buy myself this because it's like I can't enjoy it in my house. Mm. If I buy myself something, it's like, oh. It's bad or you feel guilty. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, why you ain't getting me... I didn't know I was supposed to like what you mean you make more money than everybody at this house yeah. like but and on top of that having like to pay your rent which I haven't been able to do but now like okay God's allowing me to be able to do that and it's like once I do that will she shut up I hope God please let her be quiet <laughs> we'll be praying because <laughs> I'm like here you just like you get money for everybody that's in this house and it's not and it's like I know I have my responsibilities and I know I understand what it is on her end. It's not even really she needs it. She just wants it. Yeah. It's just greed. And I get it. So I'm not even going to be mad at you for that because for what? Energy out of my, you know, day. So it's like I'm just, I'm thankful to God for just cultivating everything he's been doing and through this church, man. Like, and, you know, it saddens me what happened with Carrie because she was about to really help it, like, expand in a way. Yeah. And I felt like that was from the enemy. Because for it to be number one, whatever week that she said that it was number one in the search. It is. Still? Yeah, if you go onto mm-hmm. um, the website and mm-hmm. then you type in um, KAC or Kingdom Advancement Center, mm-hmm. it'll say number one in the high desert. Okay, yeah. awesome. So okay. we, we are on the top of the uh, website. Okay, cool, yeah. cool. Okay, so that's good. You know, I just Yeah, like... she did that quick. That was probably within a week. Mm-hmm. Mm. And she was like, okay, guys, you know, subscribe or, you know, make a comment. Like, mm. yeah, she worked really hard on that. And it came. Right. God is good. You know? <laughs> he is. Just, He's faithful. Man. So this church, like, his, this is not going to be, we got to. But look gonna, at you, though. I mean, look how you're stepping in, though, and you're helping out a lot. 
See, I didn't even think like my little my little help is doing much. Oh, it's I'm doing like, a whole lot. You like you told me earlier about you don't realize the things that you've done to bless me. Well, you don't realize the things you've done to bless us. <laughs> I don't because I'm like yeah. you know I try to remain humble. It's not like I'm sitting there like, well, this is me. Like, oh, no. you're very humble. Like, mm -hmm. this ain't none of this is me. I do everything. I I. I, I I don't move, think, have my being without God. Let me tell you, I don't do none of that without the Father. None of this is capable. It's all through Him. Yeah. So it's just, I'm excited for what God's about to do here because it's not going to remain small for long. We're going to have to open up our hearts and arms to a lot of people. Yes. And like, I have this travel spirit. Like, I just been wanting to go. <laughs> and then like, Charlita's like, you ever been? She like, hit me on Instagram. You ever been to... You ever left anywhere? I'm like, I used to when I was a kid, my grandma used to go places and she used to take me with her. But never just on my own, just went places. And I do have desire to like go. I literally want to go to Israel. That's where me my too. savior beat was. You know, I want to be where he I want to see a tomb. I want to see, you know what I'm saying, everywhere where my savior was. So, I, you know, I know God going to get us there because that's his plan. Well, we're all going because I'm going too. Right, period. You, you got your passport? No. You're going to get it. I'm like, <laughs> ain't that like $200 or something like that? For a little book to say you can yeah. go somewhere. <laughs> yeah, but you can actually get it started though, because oh. it'll take it'll take a while for the process. Mm -hmm. About okay. probably like six six weeks or something like that. Oh, I thought you about to say six months. I'm like, dang. No, 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 like six weeks. Okay, we're like, <laughs> all right. So whenever God, you know, I feel like He'll put it in the spirit for me to start working on it. Oh, He we're will. Going, we go in places. I'm going. With Charlita, I'm recording everything. Yep. You know what I'm saying? That's what See, I do. that's a blessing. Look at you. See. <laughs> What's the blessing? <laughs> You're going to be courting and doing all the stuff that you're doing now. You're going to be doing it while she travels. Oh, yeah, okay. No, see? I got to give me a bag because everything in these <laughs> yeah, separate gonna, boxes yes, is not need a bag. It. But, yeah, like, I'm just, I'm super excited what God about to do. It's just so exciting. Like, ugh. Yeah, this, I'm excited this next too. next step, like, you said he's doing, um, I wrote down, like I said, I wrote down what you and Charlie to prophesy. So it's like, when you say he's doing a quick work, I'm like, okay, I, I get it. But, like, I don't at the same time, like, but I get it. Yeah, he's doing such a quick work that our heads will swim. Like, it's going to be like one thing right after another. Blessings upon blessings. We have so much blessings upon us that we would have to get rid of it and give it to people. Because it's mm. going to be so much. Mm. That That's good. Amos 9.13, guys. <laughs> I just want to let you know that. Right, right. Yeah, so it's just like, oh, it's been a blessing talking to you. So get ready, you. Amber. Um. That's the part. That's why I kept like get all of ready. them, both of you guys. Is, I'm like I have like a sticky notes, and they all say "get ready." Get I'm ready. like, what am I? Okay, I feel like I'm ready. <laughs> get ready. So she gave me my little tool belt armor. <laughs> Thanks, Father. You know, saying so I got my stuff, but like, what am I getting ready for? Like, what's you know? <laughs> But like whatever he come with, let's go. Lord. If you stay ready, you ain't gotta get ready. So come on, yes, amen. So God is good, man. It's been a blessing talking to you, man. Yes, I excited. I I love it. I mean, I would love to come back whenever you ask me to come back. I would love to. Okay. This is so fun. Nerves isn't. isn't it's not that as that bad in the beginning. I was like, I'm nervous. No, in the beginning I was a little stutter, so you know, don't mind me. But <laughs> now I'm kind of comfortable, so I'm good now. <laughs> yeah, it's just conversation, man. And like, you know, God is just God is good, man. To you, like, my story is just so like. Yeah, that was just. And it like it gives me hope tip. because I have my family who are just had the same life you had. Yeah. Living it right now as we speak. So I'm like, I know God can save an entire family. I know he can. No, definitely. I've heard it. So it's like, I'm keeping them in my prayers to God just, you know, release them from the shackles of Satan. Yep. Ugly, bald head itself. And I just, you know. <laughs> the poopoo head with maggots. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. And that's, that's, that's what she called them. Yeah. So it's like, man, like. I'm excited. God is so good. It's just like, it's been a blessing talking to you. Just, just having this opportunity to do this. I can't wait to speak to everybody else and get I to know. know them. You know, God's going to be good to you. It's going to be fun. I'm glad you I'm excited here. for what God's going to do on your um, ministry, the platform that he has blessed you and trusted you with. Oh, yeah. Get ready. I don't even, be, I don't even like, because lately I was just like, okay, it's time for me to focus. Because, oh, that's what I was going to tell you about the dream. I didn't tell you. Oh, yeah, you haven't told me about the dream. Okay, so. We're like, not done yet, guys. <laughs> right, you know what I'm saying. So I didn't, um, so I've been speaking, talking to this man for about a couple weeks or months now or whatever. And I feel like I'm still trying to fight continually to fight the stronghold that's trying to come back from my ex so like i'm just really not focused on the relationship but i enjoy talking to the man we have a really great conversation but it can get fleshy real quick 
I'm still, I'm still a woman. So, <laughs> <laughs> so um, I was just like, Lord, I want to know. I've been asking for weeks and for months. Like, who? What is his role? Like, what is he here for? Like, what? Who is he? Mm. I've been wanting to know because I don't just want anybody in my life. You know what I'm saying? I got to protect myself spiritually. I got to keep myself, you yeah. know. So, um, um, as I'm asking that, a few weeks ago, uh, we went to the altar during uh, um, um, on Wednesday. And I felt, I heard God say, he is it. And I was just like, and I'm just like, and it, it, it confused me because I was like, I don't know. I don't remember if I was asking during that day or not. Probably was, but I was like, Satan can't come in and just talk to me if I want my face to God, right? Like, you can't just, right? Yeah. I mean, I I think honestly, like, it can happen. Mm -hmm. That's why you got to, you know, ask God to give you some discernment and wisdom. Mm -hmm. And like I said, like having a relationship, which you do, mm -hmm. and being in the Word. So you just got to keep, you know, seeking that answer Cause to where like, you know that you know, okay, mm -hmm. this is you, God. And he'll confirm that. He's a God of confirming. Right. So he'll confirm. And I've just been asking for like weeks and I was like, okay, so I felt like I heard that, but I'm not going to accept that as whole because I need confirmation in the word. I learned that yeah. from with my ex when I, all the, I, the reason I believed he was it because I was seeing signs. I wasn't in my word asking. That was yeah. a difference. So I'm like, okay, I'm doing different now. Yeah. Show me in this scripture this my husband come on father so hey i pray that too god if you bring him you better show me i gotta hear it clearly from you that's mm -hmm. your husband because if i don't hear it god i ain't moving <laughs> that's been my you. prayer for almost 10 years let me tell you so mm -hmm. i'm like okay so i um i just been waiting um not waiting well yeah wait, waiting for him to answer that and so you know i'm just trying to make sure that i'm like not it's like i'm not trying to fall into anything it's just conversation but also don't want to keep it going because i understand how that works right you know that was the last trap just talking to a man for a little bit and it ended up into like the situation ship so um i'm i'm asking and i'm praying i support him you know um to just be a friend or whatever and um so i have a dream i had a dream the other day where um, i was with this friend of mine from like work and she um She's, I don't know, she's with me in the dream and we're like talking about guys or whatever. And then I walk into like, so you know how like scenes change in dreams. So I walk into like this like function or party or gathering or something. And then I see you. Oh. And then like, um, I was like, hey, what's up, girl? And you know, <laughs> and then you immediately like just check. You like, it's like you see into me. You're like something, you have questions about something. And it's like, cause I've been asking God questions about who he is. And you were like, oh, you have questions about something. You know, so what is the question? And so I told you, um, I tell you, like, it's about this guy, like, who he is and what it is, and da, 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 da. And then you say, the thing is, he's not a bad guy. He's just not it for you. Mm. And I was like, okay. You know, like a little stomach drop. But I was like, okay, cool. You know, I accept that. I've been wanting to know. Right. And then you say this, like, a riddle thing to, like, like a parable-ish thing to me. Like, you know how God would just say certain things, or Jesus would say certain things. And you'd be like, what that mean? And then you was like, it basically means, like, you were too stubborn to let go and that one was weird to me because i'm not if he need to go i'm not holding on to that yeah that, that was the only part that was weird to me you're like, like what, what? <laughs> stubborn. if he need to go we can go today so um and then i woke up and that had me like just shook like okay what and then because later on that day i was on tiktok and i followed this one girl you know who is very great with spiritual knowledge and then she said some sometimes familiar faces mm -hmm. can be familiar spirits and I was like, okay, well then what, what is this? Yeah. And then I tell Fran the dream and yesterday, and she was like, um, the question is why is Ashley in your dreams? Amen. Why am I in your dream? No kidding. <laughs> I'm like, what I hope I'm doing everything good, Jesus. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, if you were prophesying or just telling me something mm -hmm. in a dream, I started to think about like who you are in my life. What do you do when you speak truth to me? And so like. I'm like, because I've been having, like, crazy dreams, like, weird dreams. I have no idea what they mean. And I'm like, I just, I want them to cipher so I can understand them, what they mean, and, you know, all that. And this one is just having me, like, shook for a couple of days. Because I'm like, I don't, Lord, I don't want nothing that ain't supposed to be a part of this. Right. Like, expeditiously. So I text him, and I'm like, yeah. what, are you, what are your intentions with me? That's good. What do, what do you want to do with me? Because I'm, I'm on the 30. 
within it, like what I'll be 29 this year so like I can't just be wasting this time like talking to, to men like you could be blocking me from my husband and you know what I'm saying so Amen. because I had to come to realize that I was I had some fear because before I knew who my ex was I was ready for marriage and all of a sudden when it ended I wasn't that didn't make sense so I was like well what am I afraid of so I like addressed that with him it was like I still am ready like I want the family that you know I just never had seen or grew up in so um and I, you know, respond, I was probably like a little antsy or like a, just really just anxious when I, because I sent the voice message, I didn't send a text message. I was just like, okay, so I just want to know who you are, where you, where you picture me, da, 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 and, you know, and he responded to me this morning, and he waited, like, I sent him that 10 o'clock yesterday in the morning, and he didn't answer me till today, and so I was just like, I read it, and I was just like, this ain't, mm, this is, this is an issue for me, I don't like the non-peace with it with me being a story for a couple days ain't even you father i, I think he's already you. showing you giving you the answers you know what i'm saying yeah. and so like and i'm and i'm just like i want a man to be gentle with me and i yeah. feel like he wasn't gentle enough to be like okay calm down what's the problem what's wrong i feel like you know i know we have a man in our head that we know that yeah i do like, you know what i'm saying <laughs> yeah, like we have a saying. man in our head and women and men have a woman in their head yeah. they're just like okay this is what god this, this type of man what i want and i get yes. that he's not going to always fit that mold but i do believe with certain things that I just, God just don't want me to compromise on. No, no, you're right. So, like, I, I want a gentle man. Mm -hmm. I want a man that won't lead me to sin. And I'm not saying... You want he, one that will lift you up and guide you to the right path. And pour, and yes. pour into me. And I feel like I've been the one pouring, mm -hmm. which is I have no problem with. You know, if you need encouragement, you need to prophesy to whatever God wants well, to do. Well, but you need something to be poured back into you, exactly. too. Exactly. Yes. And, like, and I'm just like, and he would, like... I'm like, oh, you should come over. You know, we could get and watch this, you know, the, the, the Ferris movie. And, you know, he just, I get it, he's a little fleshy as well. Like, there's certain things he has to work on, his discipline and stuff like that. And it took me out of my character one of these nights. And I had to repent because I was like, I ain't, I ain't felt that or did that in a very <laughs> long time, Father. So forgive me. <laughs> so I was just like, I caught myself back. Like, I don't, I don't believe my husband would lead me hmm. into that. Yeah. I feel like he would fight with me. Even if we both happen to flee from lust. We both flee. Yes. It ain't just me. Like, for instance, like, if you're weak, he'll be strong. Right. And he'll be like, no, we can't. And if he's weak, you'll be strong. Right. That's what a marriage is. It's, it's a help me. You mm -hmm. guys are one. You know what I mean? And you're supposed to help each other when one is not strong or one is going into their flesh mm -hmm. to lift them up. You mm -hmm. know, vice versa. And um, I just, man, and the response, like, the accountability and responsibility, like, he will take, like, it's just, I'm not trying to bash this man yeah. or nothing like that. I have nothing against him. It's just, I'm seeing in the spirit, and it's like, you don't have any, like, so I didn't, I didn't do that by myself. I wasn't led into that by myself, so it's like, for you to be like, oh, I did nothing. Okay, that's fine. I think you're already seeing it. Right, and I think, yeah. you know, because I don't like, I feel like when I know it'll be, like, just watching Johnny and Sarah yesterday and how much... He loves her. Like during that song when Reggie was singing and he was like, this is for me, but this is you to her. I know. He didn't, Johnny did not take his eyes off Sarah the entire song. My gosh. Did you see how he was looking at her? When right. he, oh my God. I was, like, was, just I was like, this is a love of God. And, yes. then, and then I got you in the middle. So this is just so different. Like, it was just like, she was the only one in the room. Right. Literally. Like, no, you're my queen. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, and to I love it. <laughs> right. To watch that and to know like, wow, like God is really like, this is what I won't have to come. I won't have to ask questions like, what are we? He will come with the authority knowing like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just Ooh. feel like it'll say like to send counterfeits. Yes. Me really do. Because I'm like, OK, so I knew that I was waiting on a husband. And when um, the couple at the last church was just like, I don't believe my ex was it. That stronghold literally felt like. Once they said that, I felt a physical weight off of my shoulders. Wow. And it felt like, wow, so you've been preparing me because I've been reading Songs of Solomon and God has just been like putting all type of marriage stuff in, in my face. And I was just like, okay, so you know, and I thought he was there. I was like, okay. And then when I found out he wasn't, I was like, it didn't devastate me like it did the first time when God told me no and I just ignored it. So, <laughs> and so I'm like, okay. And then here comes this man of God. He's a man of God. I'm not going to say he's not. He has yeah. a relationship with God. It's just things he has to be disciplined in and he's not. Yeah. And, the fruits. You know? And so, like, I'm like, okay, you cool or whatever. You can help me out. But I'm just like, it's not hitting. Like, it's not. 
it's not curling all the way over. Yeah, I, I think that you will you will have that knowing. Yeah, like I feel like you would yeah. know. It's like instant knowledge, like how like Charlia and Reggie told me, like they were just. And it'll be a friendship first. I just yeah. feel like for me it'll be a friendship. And how they said they was just walking one day and just looked at each other like, oh, oh, ah, you no. got you a husband. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like it just hit for them. Yeah, because at first they were just friends. Mm -hmm. Like that was it. They were friends. They were going to church, doing Bible study, doing ministry, just friends. And mm -hmm. like what you're saying, out of nowhere, they looked at each other and then they just knew. knew. And I was like, it I was at like, the same time. I, I feel like my man go, we gonna have a Bible study. And I just like, <laughs> like in my head, I feel like he's gonna be in, like not introduced, but that's like that's gonna be the first thing to click. Like he gonna be like, let's talk about God together. Come on, yes. And, and that, I'm not saying we don't have biblical conversations or anything like that. It's just not like super spirit led for him. And I'm so in the spirit all the time, mm. for the most part, you know. And so that kind of just threw me. But I think, like, this happened literally right now through conf this confirmation of, like, this ain't it. So I'm like, and now it got me weirded out because I'm like, I didn't know you could speak to me while I'm on my face to my father. You ugly bastard, mm. you. And now, it's just now because, like, every now and then I learn something new that I didn't know he can do. And I'm God, good, glad God reveals that to me because now I know to, like, not fully just take everything I hear. Yes. You know, because I know this God's small, still voice, and Satan tried to mimic that. Get on my nerves. I can't stand <laughs> over That's why you really, really got. Uh, this is what I was praying about all the time. Once I got saved, I was like, God, give me wisdom beyond my ears and give me discernment like I've never had before. Mm -hmm. And um, help me to have. Um, to, like discernment of spirits because mm -hmm. there are discerning spirits where you can just go in the room and you can pick it up instantly okay that's the spirit of you lust you know what yesterday you know what I mean uh, okay <laughs> I don't know who the older lady was with the sunglasses on yesterday mm -hmm. long white hair oh yeah short mm -hmm. yeah yeah something about her I picked up something about it. <laughs> some said which <laughs> I, I don't know her, didn't talk to her like that, but some said witch, and I'm not even trying to judge. It's just my spirit was like some witchy. And then that's when you pray. Mm -hmm. That I mean, these are the things that God gives us. Mm -hmm. He gives us these keys from heaven. Mm -hmm. And if you don't ask, you don't receive. Mm -hmm. So I think one of the things that are the most important thing is having discernment and having wisdom. Mm -hmm. I pray. I pray the Solomon prayer. I was like, yes. you know, knowledge, wisdom, understanding. Yeah, there you go. Because I'm super hungry and I want to understand. Yep. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I think me asking God for like the past few weeks of just, I, I thought he was silent. And I'm like, Lord, you ain't never not told me something I want to know. What's going on? And then um, <laughs> Rebecca, was it Rebecca? Is it either Rebecca or Charlita said today when I was just up there. And um, she was just like, he's not silent. I think that was Rebecca. And like, he's not silent. And I'm like, oh, because I'm like, why? I feel like you were. Like, you ain't answered me. Like, you know, if I got to boot somebody, they could go. I just feel... Okay, I'm just going to say it, but I feel like the Lord is saying right now to you that the way that he was talking to you before, he's changing it up. So you got to seek him in the new ways he's going to be speaking to you. <laughs> okay. So to you, it may be silent, but he's speaking, but it's a different way now. He's mm. taking you into a new level with him. Mm. Okay, that makes sense. Because I was <laughs> like, I'm opening the Bible like, he's going to tell me something today. And I'm like, okay, that's not what I asked you. This, okay, I get, this makes sense. Yes, thank you. But I was asking about something else, and that's not what you said here. But okay, yeah. maybe tomorrow. <laughs> so, okay, that makes sense. It's kind of like hide and seek. It's like tag yes. your it. So now you got to find him. And now you're, you're it, so you got to mm -hmm. find him. It's a new way. Like, yeah. <laughs> God. <laughs> He's fun. My father is like He's legit. Fun. Like you're funny. You're yep. so fun and funny. Okay, I get it. I and get like it. how you were saying, like, okay, I don't understand the dream. Like, you know, show me. I don't know. It's like he already was confirming it with the text you got this morning. And it was like, mm -hmm. okay. Like you just had that knowing. Like, like last night I was laying in the bed and he hadn't <laughs> responded yet. I was just like thinking to myself, like, this is giving me familiar spiritish. Come on. Because I had to wonder and ask about my ex. I was chasing that man for 10 years and wanted him to make him me mine. Wanted all of that to be real. I went out there to go see him. Was cool in his presence. He even like, I, I almost fell into, you know, lust. And he was like, nah, you're God's child. I can't even touch you. Like, I don't want to. I was like, okay, Holy Spirit, thank you for being in the room. <laughs> you know what room. it was? I bet you was so afraid. Like, he's like, I ain't touching you. you Literally. Like that, like, yeah. No. 
Wow. Fine. Okay. <laughs> but okay, God, thank you. <laughs> like I have to come back and repent, but <laughs> I appreciate it, God. You're you know what I'm saying, you be with your girl. Yeah. So like that's just this whole I knew this conversation was gonna bring revelation. I just knew it. <laughs> thank you, Lord. Because You're so good. you know, and I'm just like I'm not going to overreact because usually I'm like, okay, once you, you show me your true colors, I would just drop you. And that's not the plan. It's just now I know what it is, what's real, what ain't potato potato. So Yeah. Just set boundaries. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yep. And he's supposed to fix my car, so I gotta keep in contact with him so he hey. can fix <laughs> I need a new od odometer. So hey, that, that's a blessing. Yes, let him fix your car. Just set boundaries. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> right. Period. So that was good. You know, man. Like we've been on here for like an hour and twenty minutes. That's crazy. that was awesome. I had a blast. Right. This was fun. <laughs> I didn't even think I was gonna be the type of person to have as like an interviewee, interviewer, whatever you want. Well, get used to it because you're gonna have a lot more to come. <laughs> you should be prophesying to me all the time, y'all. She should be saying stuff. Okay, that'd be God though. Yeah. But um. I want to thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate the support. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. If you are new and if you are listening to me and not watching, go ahead and leave a rating. That helps me move up in the algorithm. People Come can on. find the podcast. I appreciate the love and the support. And as always, I will see you. You will see me next time. Peace. <laughs>